Hi everyone, Aaron from Revised Shoe Repair here, and on today's project, no, not today's project, but today's video, I hope you guys are doing good, and well, today is Saturday, it's 7 o'clock, it's kind of cold, it's been raining a lot in LA, and it's still winter, so it gets cold, so I'm heading to work, guys, it's still in the morning, so the traffic's not bad today. But usually, usually this is the 10 freeway, and it's always packed. If you guys live in LA, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but well, it is what it is. Oh, look at that, Mega Million, 425 million, woo! I don't know if you guys can see the mountains. They have a lot of snow. I live about 25 minutes away from home, but with, with traffic, <laughs> whew, it's 45 to 60 minutes. Mm -hmm. This is what I was just telling you. Traffic, traffic, traffic. We're gonna make a stop so I can grab something to eat. And of course, it'll be Mexican food. Heck yeah. I forgot my tripod guys, so I'm sorry if the phone is moving too much. I'm basically holding it with my hand. Whoa, bad news guys. The taco truck didn't come today. I was actually gonna buy birria. I love birria, but the guy didn't come today. Oh man. So, well, we're gonna have to make another stop at a different place. That place looks familiar. Hmm. Here we are at John's Burger. Yeah, they sell menudo and it's really good. <laughs> this place is on Waiter Boulevard and Garfield. All right, guys, let's get to it. Woo! Definitely, definitely my favorite food, menudo. How many of you guys like menudo? Cheers. All right, guys, let's see. Okay, first of all, I have to say that I am not a big fan of chaka boots. I don't like them because most of them are like kind of pointy. But this particular pair, I like it because they're round. They are round. And they are actually in decent shape, decent conditions. Now, the brand is Hawkins. I don't know nothing about this. And I actually tried to do a research on this brand. I honestly didn't find anything. I saw a few other pairs on eBay. Same brand. They were stitched down, more like a Clark Desert Boots type. I don't like those. I don't usually buy used shoes, but I was actually looking for a pair of fry hiking boots. And that's when I found this. And I started looking at the pictures and I was like, you know what? I kind of like these boots. And since they're not in bad condition, I was like, well, why not? Let me buy them. Let me get them and see what, how they look. Let me show you the pictures I saw on eBay.
as you can see they are not bad at all now unfortunately and i i don't know why the description didn't say anything about these boots but just the size and the brand but nothing about ma materials or type of construction i mean i knew they were good at well because I, I looked at the pictures and i was like well these are good at well so let's buy them i thought they had a leather footbed but they don't the description didn't say anything about the construction but when i looked at the pictures it really looked like it was a leather footbed it pretty much looks like a leather footbed but it's not hmm, paperboard footbed not a big deal these are the original soles and they are the same these haven't been resold i can tell because of the stitching the stitching is pretty much the same same color the leather is very thick it's about 2.4 millimeters very decent and it's a pull-up leather look Ooh. hopefully you guys can see the vamp is lined now with leather this is some type of a mesh Mm -hmm. right there yeah well 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 but there's nothing i can do about it i mean i won't deconstruct the whole boot just to put leather on this first of all i don't even have a last to redo this <laughs> if you guys know anything about this let me know i don't know anything and but the leather is the thickness is very decent very decent and obviously i am going to resolve this retract this and replace that paperboard footbed i only paid 80 dollars for these boots so i think i got a good deal of course i am not paying for the recraft <laughs> but uh it will cost you way more than 80 dollars that's for sure and you know chaka boots only come sometimes with even two pairs of eyelids they have three but that's how they usually come these are size 10 i don't even know if they will fit me or not <laughs> they might fit me if not well i lost 80 dollars <laughs> do you guys like chaka boots let me know in the comment section down below and well let me know what you think about this particular pair let's see if they fit me or, or not let's clean this like to disinfect them with alcohol at least banda pues bueno bueno aquí recapitulando de volada como les decía compré estas botas la verdad no soy fan de las botas chuca o chaca Yo estaba buscando unas botas fry, unas hiking boots, pero no encontré nada y entre la búsqueda apareció estas botas y lo principal que me gustó, pues como decía yo ahora, es que son, es redonda, no es puntiaguda, la mayoría de botas chaca que he visto son un poco más puntiagudas y tienden a estar más inclinadas de aquí abajo, el corte más, más bajo, esta está más parejita y bueno, eso fue por lo que me gustó una, otra, porque el cuero, el cuero, bueno, en la foto no podía apreciar el grosor del cuero pero más o menos me dejé llevar por la vista bastante gruesecito es bastante decente la verdad la foto la foto la bota perdón está forrada pero no con cuero sino con una especie de, de red tela digamos con agujeros como red pues pero le voy a poner poquito alcohol antes de medírmela así por si las flies dicen allá no están casi usadas no están casi usadas La razón por la que se ve esto así, esto es porque esto es cuero, es cuero aceitado. Mire, esto se marca. Cualquier marca que le haga aquí siempre se va a ver, mire. Eso tiene esa particularidad. Espero que cuando le ponga su, su condicionador y todo, se va a ver mucho, mucho mejor. Entonces, eso no es gran problema. Y desafortunadamente, el, el, la, la, la planta o la plantilla de adentro es de cartón. Ahí en la, en la foto no pude saber porque la descripción no daba de qué estaba hecha. Sí sabía que era... Gloria well, porque pues eso se ve luego, luego. Pero de adentro pensé que era una plantilla de cuero. Pues no hay problema. O sea, las compré para, para proyecto y para... Pues dije, si me quedan, ya las armé y las vamos a dejar bien coquetonas. Vamos a ver si me quedan o no. ¡Uh! ¡They fit me, guys! ¡They fit me! Okay, well, not bad. Hmm. They fit okay. Greetings to Anthony Silva. Look, Anthony. 
<laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Greetings to my friend Anthony Silva from San Diego. He's always like, hey, why are you coughing your pants? Don't do that. <laughs> what do you guys think? Mm, not bad, not bad. That's cosa pateado. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you like it, let me know in the comment section down below. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks. La banda, pues bueno, muchas gracias. Fue un video. Dije yo que era corto, se hizo largo después. Muchas gracias, de verdad. Un saludo para toda la banda. Saludos para mi camarada Memo Rosales. Y para todos y cada uno de ustedes. Nos vemos en el próximo video.